this groups in okay, some power. Uh, so my name is Priyank, as I was saying. It didn't change in a couple of seconds, even if I'm wearing a mic. So welcome, and uh, let's understand what is Scrum from inside out. Okay. And so before we go into the session, there's a quick exercise which I want you guys to do. That's why I was saying, come and join them. So why not you guys have a discussion on tables and then let me know what are the things which make sense when they come to the table, okay? What are the goals of a modern organization or an enterprise in modern world? You know those English standards? You need to figure out, have a conversation, what are the organization goals or the goals of a modern organization? List it down, then we will have a conversation. <laughs> Which you think are candidate for this? Are you clear with the question? Zero doubt? Have a list now? Done? Are we done? Let's go table to table. Okay, so table number one over there. What your enterprise wants? What do you have for us today? What are the keywords which you want to throw? Do you need a mic? Uh, one of the goals is uh, the competitive market. So they want to be they want to be the competitors and uh, be number one in the industry. And the second is be nimble. And third is growth using less and less resources and making more and more money. Can you pass the mic there? So this is the same consolidated list, right? Or do you have a different list? So basically, uh, money making, <laughs> customer target, targeting of BBQ, audience targeting, you are talking about quality product and the reusable product. Reusable product, okay. Quality product, quality. Okay. That's, that's the consolidated list or you have something else? Basically, a product that can actually bring uh, in a brand value as well as uh, simultaneously probably a pro uh, product which can bring in revenue as well. It could be too. Perfect. Yeah. Can you pass that mic quickly? Or there is no one on this side. So uh, diversification in terms of uh, product as, I mean market, as well as uh, geography. Making money, definitely. Uh, innovative solutions. To add and generalize this, so ultimately the objective should be to create value for all your stakeholders, which may be your employees, your senior management, your shareholders, and your customers. Do you have something extra to add in this list? Almost safe. Almost safe. Yeah. Just increase customer satisfaction, I mean better customers, improve in customer satisfaction, decrease in cost, and uh, increase the revenue. Perfect. Let's hear from them then. Create future leaders. <coughs> so we have to add only one which are different, right? Okay. No, that's okay. You can again repeat. We'll waste time and then we'll ask you to differentiate. First one is maximize. Yes. The first one is maximize shareholder value. 
that's number one. Second is make money, maximum money. The third is cost, corporate social responsibility. <coughs> Capture the market, make employees happy, and create future leaders. Thank you for sharing. Anything else you want to Last one is no competition. No competition? Kill them. Kill competition. Kill them. Perfect. What else you have? Do you have something extra to add to this list? I think a new, uh, continuously new range of products to be uh, sent out to the market. Time to market should be reduced in the continuous uh, refinement and uh, new uh, product. Okay. Range. Okay. Do you have something to add in this list? Yes, we all talked about it. 
and like you guys directly said like we need to create friendly culture i mean i'm believing that that is somewhere near the last line which we have yeah and then you also talked about like okay we need to have continuous feedback from the customer so nothing new i want you guys to think about scrum this is scrum okay and then i'm going to give you a quick exercise for 5 minutes okay i don't care about the ceremonies i don't care about where the roles are lying and then things like that i want you to figure out where do you find these things which you listed down which are your ideas in scrum can you have a conversation for the next 5 minutes <coughs> have your ideas some of those may fit in scrum okay so i'm questioning you back that where do you find those in scrum Can you have a conversation? Yeah. So you know Scrum, right? By the way. Yeah. Now you can have a conversation. Okay. I think the first line is not clear. So you can figure out where the thing is. view during daily startups and we meet them when we are completing a any pbr so this is done along with it and uh, the third thing we were talking about was innovation and market study taking pauses so that we do at the time of somewhere hardening sprint where we focus on hardening innovation and planning so we just trying to uh, put everything that we have done to an environment and also taking a pause and thinking what we can do better how we can do better there is something new going on in the market So allocate some time around that and do it as part of our hardening sprints. Club it along with them. Right. Do you have extra to share than that? What What was your yeah. idea, goal, idea, and then where you figured it out? Right. So so next uh, so quickly goal were maximize shareholders value, maybe money, uh, community service activities, capture the market, make employees happy. So our approach was uh, maximize the outcome with less output. Employee happy, employee satisfaction, work-life balance, empower employees, build them responsible. How we do that? So uh, the first one, uh, manage output outcome. So backlog prioritization. Right. So prioritization is there. Uh, our product backlog prioritization matters to that. Then when it comes to employee and all, our uh, self-organized self-organization. Uh, this retrospection, feedback, transparency, all that helps uh, in that uh, employee happy employee employee satisfaction. Work-life balance, uh, sustainable pace, increased uh, you know our sprint backlog, so people have an idea of people have idea of how much work is there, so that helps in their work-life balance. Self-organization, collaboration. So these are the things. Very much there, right? Wonderful. Thank you for sharing that. What do you guys there? Right. Most of the part is covered, but uh, first part is uh, market research and uh, market market. Uh, there is a market, like what kind of market market is and what you need to do to register for a platform. We need to prioritize the backlog, right? That's what you're saying. You need to remove the right item. Yeah. That's fair. The other execution starts from there. Okay, wonderful. What was the other idea? Is that all or is that? Just one. So the things are there. What do you guys? What do you got? Like, what was your business goal? What was your idea? And then why are you figured it out in this round? So goal was to diversify the business value of the money. I just want to listen one. Dot connected till here. Okay. So business value. Okay. Then uh, it was uh, find a need. Have you done market research or do we have you validated? 
needed and this is needed. So, you know, asking those those questions and thinking that interpreter. So we took that exercise in that sense, but not. Yeah, thank you, Jivan, and the right direction, I believe. And everyone is along with you, it's good, more or less, yeah. The words are a little different in the presentation, yes. Wonderful. So what do you guys have over there? you have something extra to share? Almost all of the same. So we said that the uh, adapting to change is part of so the different cycles which we keep track of. Wonderful. That's great. Do you guys have something? On leave? On leave? No, we are not with you, Priya. So survival, I would say, every, at every aspect, survival inspection and adaptation. Survival is more towards compliance, compliance and competence. So yeah, I think uh, this is great, actually. So did you guys realize that from where we are coming in now? We are not talking about ceremonies, OK? I'm not trying to teach you how to imitate Scrum, OK? There are lots of certification which teach you how to imitate Scrum. Like you go to a class, you understand that. Like, okay, what I'm supposed to do. But why I'm supposed to do, as you picked it up correctly, the question is really in why, okay? So if you understand that why behind the story, that from this, where this idea is coming, and where that is going in Scrum, then only you understand what is that there in the inside, okay? So Scrum is just a very tightly coupled framework, okay? Which can tell you, like, what all you need to do. But from where it is coming, the idea is flowing all the way from, you know, from the business reasons. Are you with me so far? So let's say, you understand all this, right? So let's say if you don't focus on business value, if you pick it very correctly, you have that business value coming in from where? It is coming from the backlog, right? When you prioritize it, when your focus is on priority, right? And if you don't do that, then what? Yes, so people do assessment, they say that the team is not doing prioritization, but they don't understand that from where the problem is originating, you are hitting on your business goal. You pick it up very correctly, right? It is coming from the business goal that we should focus on our business value rather than any other thing, okay? So this is important that you should focus on business value rather than you are doing Scrum, how nicely you are doing it, it doesn't matter. Are you with me so, so far? Or I lost you somewhere in thoughts? Getting it correct? So that's very important that you should prioritize your backlog. But why? We understood it just now, right? So this is the last dot in the list, okay? This is more about ceremony now, okay? So if you focus on that, you deliver the business value, right? And this is this is a typical cone of uncertainty which you guys have seen a lot of time. You have big items, you, you slice them, you make small items, you leave in fact some items, you don't need them. This is just like a wishful list, right? When it is created then you leave them, but you focus on certain items which are absolutely required. You understand the priority. You execute them over there. You do whatever type of prioritization and sizing, that doesn't matter. But the crux of the story is you focus on the business value. Okay? So if you do it this way or this way or whichever way, but indeed you are doing it for business value. Okay? That's the, that's the inside thing of Scrum. And if you talk about the second concept which I brought into the notice is, if you're talking about delivering early and often, this is the place where you meet that thing. And when you say like, okay, we want to reduce cycle time and things like that. And indeed you can go faster than that as well. Okay, so what happens when you do delivering early and often? You focus on delivering value as early as possible. It can be early like Firefox, which is delivering multiple times a day or maybe another company like that, or maybe it could be like a company which is very complex and delivering only in a six month time frame. So your delivery is, is, is based on your early, not on others early precisely. But indeed, what you are doing is, you are focusing on the high priority item first, and then you are jumping on the low priority item later. You are building on the cumulative incremental value at the other end, and that's how your time box are going. Are you with me on this thought? This is what exactly this is how the Scrum works, at the background of it, okay? So if you talk about the next thing which I talk about is, if you focus on things which make sense at a given point of time, if you focus on best size, this is the place where it comes, okay? So if you have a big inventory of items, you create a small inventory of that, then eventually you are creating a large to small best size. So you are actually focusing on less items, and this is the place where the best size lesson comes in this Scrum, okay? 
you have like a big inventory of thousand items, now you're talking about only ten. Focus on that, you're delivering those, that's what actually is Okay. So can I have a question on the yeah. one? So is this the slide you want to bring to you? See, uh, I always have disconnect between one sort, venue, and how to how to make my team understand value of delivery, but they are delivering as a product or a tool. For example, like I am given a project from it as well. The value of project uh, that software will be identified by that customer. They know what value they want to deliver, but what they actually want to use, how they actually want to utilize that software. So, how to connect my team with their thoughts? So, my company has some other, uh, you know, their goals, their thoughts, their process, some other goals. So my company wants to earn money, they want to have less cost, no changes, but they, they might want something else. So how to connect them? This is just me, how to connect them. I might have answers, okay. but it is much, much easier to ask another question. On top. Yeah, I think it's more important that you need to recognize that the, the overall of the software industry is moving away from what you're talking. And if you don't recognize that, acceptance is the later stage for sure, but you need to recognize that. Okay. So if you don't recognize that, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm not at your side, you need to wake up. And, uh, no, no, that is not to wake up, the point is that. <laughs> I'm just trying to discuss that. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. No, let me answer this, okay? So what he's saying is like the fixed type of leads where you actually have a timeline. You don't care about the customer, what they're getting at the other end. Yeah, I what he's trying to say. What I'm saying, how to connect my team with customers or customers? You need to be, be with customer. Precisely. Your customer is not a party anymore. He's the part of the game. So, I'm not talking about like how you structure your organization, but he is the part of the game. And if he is not the part of the game, he is not engaged, he is not responsible. Indeed, as you said correctly, he doesn't bother. So he gives away a list of items, and then you you take care of certain items. When you go back, you may differ, and that's what happened, right? So we need to make him a part of the game. Okay, very important aspect. And if you have anything additional to add in there, I think what this question was <coughs> down, uh, at a level where um, we say we deliver value to the customer, but when we divide our user stories and when developers are working on the user story, how they figure out, like how, when, when how to make them realize that by doing this, what is the value you are delivering to the customer. Yes. So my, my, my take on that was, is, is uh, that probably one thing from that level, when the developers are <coughs> there is, uh, in the product backlog, we say that it's a list of prioritized user story and uh, the the customer or product owner, they can define what is the value of these. So that is there, then that is their product owner is the person in the team who is connecting with customer's thought, not for the team. And so, so that is where Priyank is saying, oh, so it's, 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 you have to work together. In the sense, the right way would be that customer is partner to all this overall so development customer process. partner with my product owner, like the person who be Sir, the whatever product. your name is. That okay. may is the problem for us. Okay, so that may has to be challenged. Okay, it is required that that guy has to be a part of the game. As I'm saying, very straight, which is tough to digest. Right. So you need to digest it first, accept that, and recognize that. If let's say you hire me as a own, I mean as a vendor, and then you don't want to play that game at all, so you give away one person among us some information, and then you want to go out, and you want to enjoy your holidays or whatever, and then you come back just to check, okay? So, we are talking about something which, which is like more important and, and, and as I said like, so when you actually do the feedback, the feedback is the concept, okay? And the customer, if he's not engaged, you don't get the feedback. So, you need to have a setup where you can question the customer directly, not via. So, don't make product owner a responsible person. The product owner has to be the primary source of the requirement, otherwise he's proxy, that's what is the definition, right? So you need to question all these things, and maybe you need to certain, I mean, in a, you need to do some, some tweak over there, if it is a typical setup where you cannot do much. So my recommendation number one to your question is, for sure, you need to have your product owner next to you, who is, is, is authorized to answer all the questions. 
second, third, he should know about all what he's saying. He'll ha he should be authorized to take calls. And then he should give feedback as soon as possible. Okay. So lots, lots of things are there. Yeah. I have one question. <coughs>
like what you do in a backlog grooming, if you're doing it with that customer, for example, what do you do there? You actually recognize that whether the backlog is in shape or not, do we have the priority? Do we have the value properly assigned? Are we going in the right direction? Is, is something missing? Do we have any assumption and things like that? Okay. So there where actually you find all the feedback required, you give it away to the customer who is actually their product owner and then you fix it there and then you move on. Okay. Likewise, if you take any, any ceremony for example, they all are configured, I would say they are designed in this way that you have a continuous feedback and replanning opportunity. So let's say you are doing a sprint planning. You thought of earlier that you would finish 20 stories. You are doing it, then you figured out that it's not possible. You figured out this problem, right? Are we familiar with this problem? Yes, we are, right? <coughs> and then what do you do? You actually replan. You say that, okay, we differ on our earlier plan, which makes sense. That would be a new plan. And there will actually the replanning opportunity comes. So Scrum have this image which I question to the guy who created it, and this is the answer what I got. This is for replanning and feedback. Because it is it is not a straight flow process. That's why the term sprint comes, right? What is sprint? Then you go there and then come back. So you don't release, okay, maybe. But you go there, come back, you go there, come back, and then you release all of a sudden when you think that makes sense. So you actually are doing sprinting to get the feedback. Okay, in Scrum, that's the term actually sprint is, okay? So I believe. Uh, such questions which are human aspect are lengthy to discuss but the last thing which some guys pick is like you know I believe collaboration and ownership and professional cheerful open environment is scrum I never see a picture which is not happy when you take it for a scrum team right so one of them I have picked from one of my projects but I believe you understand and recognize this much better than me when you go back home Scrum from inside is, is, is an open environment, okay, where you can discuss things, okay. So that that's all about my topic today. I believe you can connect all the dots till now. And if you have any question, I'm here outside <laughs> for those people that are really interested in the conversation on this. Thank you very much. This was my contact. On time. On time. Yeah. Thanks. Questions. Yeah. We can take up this one, a big one. I'm really interested in the answer. Yeah, sure. Thank you. What is the need to see the moment? Are we done with the Q&A session? No one has a question. I have a question. Yeah, please ask them. I'm asking, so what is the need to see? It's a designation which I have. <laughs> so yeah, I run this company called and I take care of everything over there. And uh, this is consulting company uh, into Agile and in many other models like Agile. So I take care of everything. So that's what I do there. What else? Actually, I want to share my idea that uh, these people are, uh, you should give the answer to the developers and everyone who is involved in this project, technically. So first, we prepare the question sheets about the project or project that we need to know it from time. And that's why we get that information. And in each sprint, before that, we have that same Q&A session with the client, and he just answers my questions, and we are executing the sprints very well. Just in the next session, session. guys, that's what I did. Okay, wonderful. Actually, this session where I use, let me leave that secret as well. I use it when I'm doing a sale with the customer. I don't go and tell them to use Scrum, okay? I go and ask them, what do you want in your business? If you have not understood the flow, okay? And they say that we want to be faster in delivering value. No customer says that I don't want that, okay? So if you have not recognized that so far, this is a sales proposal. <laughs> and then what he's saying is education, okay? So which happens here when you give them that exercise which I've given. So when they figure out what is there in Scrum, they figure out some arguments, and very le le less are actually left for you to argue on, which we'll do offline. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much, guys. Any other question if you have? Questions? Thank you. Okay. Thank you.